Sophie, stop it! Uh, uh, keep that... that... thing... Uh, away from me! You can make her forget she saw that, right? Always forget you're so huggy. Did I do it? Are you you again? As much as I ever was. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this... time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that... was... pretty fucked up. Who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, I just took pictures. False modesty is annoying. Oof. So. Any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I've erased timelines before, but this time I think I assimilated them. Sorry. Oh, you just assimilated the timelines. <laughs> yeah. At least that's what it feels like. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? You just seem... Extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't... not... mean to. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom... I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be... clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I ran away.
But I shouldn't have. It was cowardly. I've wasted years of my life hating myself, knowing that if I'd only made better choices, I might have saved everybody. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do, gods can do that stuff. Or monsters. stuff about curses and destiny and breaking the world. It's not real. You're real. You're what matters to me. Just stay. And we can work it all out. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your Magic Max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Sophie. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. Should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia. Oh my god. Yes, mean. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you oh, Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? All right, Maxine. If Sofia wants to pretend I'm not here, well, that is her right. Sophie! <laughs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Sophie. Hmm. Sophie? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be...
Sophie, stop it! Keep the... the... thing... away from me! You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Sophie. Always. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Sophie. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now, it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? So glad you're okay, Sophie. And I'm happy you don't feel alone anymore, but I know what happens when you just use your powers without thinking. Then I get out of jail free card. Okay, Max Caulfield. Be seeing you. me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though? After all this? Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is. No more 
more lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. Both realities somehow got smushed together in the storm. Now everything's the same, but not. How crazy is it that my brain can wrap around that so easily? Years ago, I would have been freaking out. But I'm okay. I'm not that same kid anymore. That storm haunted me for years. I can't let this one haunt me too. Hey, Alice. Hey, you didn't answer my texts. Start out a friendship to win a small cash prize in a campus wide game. I really hope no one was around when that fell. You, when I was drunk? Hey there. <sighs> Miss Caulfield. Sorry. I'm still kind of on edge. When the storm started, I followed Lucas to that rundown bowling alley. Shit, you were there too? Then everything stopped making sense. I'm so sorry, Loretta. I had no idea. Trust me, it's over now. So, do you also remember that there were, like, two of you, and, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me. But that's because... Wait, are you asking on the record? Not yet. I'm still doing research. Why? Do you know something? Can you please not? Just once. I'll text you when I'm ready to do interviews. The quad's looking pretty good after, you know, being hit by a supernatural storm. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. Uh... Not there yet. My position's off. 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 Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Real fucking funny. I just had some kind of psychological breakdown and you're laughing. 
I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. My life's fucking trash now. No thanks to you and Sophie. You're toxic, Max. I can't surround myself with that kind of energy. Maybe I'll write my own book. About this whole mess. My side of the story. Uh, well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Go fuck yourself, Max. No, I was shocked too. An A. How are you holding up, Alexa? A little better. Maya's tree, where it belongs, and as big as in the bowling alley. Things are returning to normal. Ish. How strong does a storm have to be to rip off a roof? What are you going to do now? Not gonna lie, I was afraid your face might have gotten replaced with Sophie's. I wouldn't come back either if I was... Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins, but it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yasmin, what you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Excuse me. I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Here goes nothing.
Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Safi. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. to check on how everyone's doing first. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity's gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or... Do I finally get to know you now? I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing a storm like this. It's not super easy to explain. It is pretty insane. <laughs> You know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And they like you. I think I need time. Sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Max, sorry, I just, you're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey, me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you, or Safi? I used to ask myself stuff like that all the time. Come up with any answers? But I did fuck up a lot of my relationships in the process. Wouldn't recommend it. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? This was terrifying. But you survived. Now you know you can. You'll be okay. Yeah. So, have you heard from her at all? Who, Max? Safi. I barely heard from her before she brain fucked us all in Skip Town. Were you and her 
ever serious? You know me. I don't get serious. Yeah, I know. Hey, Max. Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. But at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. Diamonds go- gonna be pissed you aren't stepping down. Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. <laughs> I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying. And disappointing. Safi was dealing with a lot. You couldn't have known. She needed someone she could trust. It should have been me. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me. That was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi, but there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses, let's give them the talk. That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah. It was dangerous, but you're- What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake? Moses has hypothermia. And now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. Do you blame Safi for what happened? I just want to know she's okay. Not an answer. It's complicated. There's so much she didn't tell me. Or maybe she tried and I didn't pick up on it. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still... 
excited to have double memories. <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? Come on, it's fascinating. Well, I feel better knowing you stood up to Safi. She cares what you think. Maybe it'll make a difference. I don't think it's over. At least she knows I'll be hanging around if she tries anything bad. And me. I'll be ready next time. Hey. We're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? It's finally starting to make sense. I think so. Not yet. But I never knew what to say when they'd say to call a friend But I think it's starting to make sense And I'll try to get it right To have you on my side I feel fine some days I just want to get it I think it's time I explained a few things. I know that I won't have to try sometimes. Sometimes. It won't always make sense. Suddenly and I ask you to stay. I'm not proud suddenly of every decision I made. It's okay. And suddenly but you don't walk away like the rest do And suddenly I have so much more I can tell It's the truth What's coming next is going to be difficult For all of us have you on my side But we're going to get through it together I promise. I just want to get it right And I know that I won't have to This time, sometimes. I'm not going anywhere gonna have to get you a blood transfusion what the fuck are you doing here you remember me that's flattering I've seen nosebleeds like that before so you can run or you can follow me and get some answers your choice <laughs> 